everybody. Today we're going to look at how to work yarn overs on both the knitted side and the purl side. So I have a swatch here that I have been playing with today and you can see that I have a couple of yarn overs already in my work. A yarn over is an increase and it will leave a little eyelet, a little hole in your work. So sometimes this happens accidentally to new knitters and they don't understand why, but you can actually place a yarn over where you want it and create a hole where you want it. And you will find this a, a very handy technique when you work with lace. I'll show you a couple of um, completed projects where I've used yarn overs in my work. And then let's take a look at how to do a yarn over. Here's a scarf that I worked on. I'm gonna, it's a little hard to see the yarn overs on a darker color scarf, but we'll come up here to where the colors are getting a little bit lighter. And I will kind of stretch it out so you can see. This sample right here has a big series of yarn overs. Can you see that? And I put beads between some of the yarn overs. This, this section here is a series of yarn overs and knit two together and another yarn over and a knit two together. So that's one sample. Here's a, a scarf, another wrap that I did using yarn overs and of course beads, but you can see clearly what the yarn over patterns look like. You can see through, see the holes and when you place them where the pattern tells you to place them, you get real nice patterns that emerge. And then my last one I'll show you is this one. So here you can see I have a series of yarn overs and then long stretches of yarn overs. And I, again, threw beads in, so just to give it a little sparkle. But that's what yarn overs look like. They are holes in your knitting that you place there on purpose to get kind of a textured and a pretty design. So let's take a look at how to work a yarn over. And we will do both a yarn over on the knit side. If you can see here, I've got some stockinette stitch where I've knit a row and then purled a row so all my knit stitches line up here on this side of the fabric and all my purl stitches line up on the back so we're going to take a look at how to do a yarn over on the knit side I'm going to knit about five stitches in and then we'll do a yarn over so you can just knit how you ever, however you knit, whether it's English style or continental style. As you can see, I'm a thrower. I knit English style. So I've knit five stitches and now we're gonna put a yarn over right here in the middle. So in order to do a yarn over, when the next stitch is a knit stitch, you bring it between the needles, bring it forward, like you're going to purl, but you're not going to purl the next stitch, you're going to knit the next stitch. So you just hold the yarn in the front, then you go into the next stitch just like you would knitting, and you kind of reach around, even though it looks weird to have your yarn in front, you reach around behind and wrap the back needle, and then knit that stitch just like you normally knit and you've created an extra stitch right there. So let me knit a few more stitches and we'll do it again. Let's do another yarn over right here. We bring our yarn between the needles forward as if to purl, but we're going to knit the next stitch like we normally would. Now you can't tell yet, 
you can't really tell by looking at what we've already done. You can kind of see where we've done a yarn over. You can kind of see it right there. You can kind of see it right there. But it doesn't really create a hole yet in the fabric. Once we've knitted all the way to the end and then knit back all the way to this end, then you'll see the eyelet. So what we're going to work a couple more yarn overs across this row and then I will purl back and show you what it looks like. We're going to do a yarn over right here. Yarn in front, knit the next stitch. So I'll show you what it looks like after you've knitted back or purled back and finished the row we're working on now. I'm going to bring my yarn front knit the next stitch and now I'm just going to knit to the end. So in order to save time on a video that may be longer than you want to watch, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video and all I'm going to do is purl back all the way across. I'm going to show you what the purled stitch looks like when we get to it and what to do with it and then I'm going to finish the row. So let's purl till we get to a yarn over which I can see it coming up. I can see it looks different. It looks different. So I purl right up to the yarn over and there's what the yarn over looks like. It doesn't look like an actual stitch. It just looks like the yarn is just kind of laying across the needle. There's no real connection underneath like you would on a normal knit stitch or a purl stitch. So when you get to this floppy stitch that just looks weird, you know that that is the, that is the yarn over. So we're purling, so I'm going to purl into the front of it, just like I would the front leg of any other stitch. I just purl when I get to it. So now I'm going to speed it up and get to the end of the row and show you what to do next. There's the next yarn over. We just go into the stitch as if to purl and just keep going. Okay, we're coming up here on the last stitch. So now as I pull my stitches down and take a look you can see the row below. Wherever we worked a yarn over, you can see the little eyelet, the little hole right there, right there, right there, and right there. So we increased a stitch each time we worked a yarn over. So on the last row that we did the yarn overs, we increased the stitch count by four. One, two, three, four and it is a very noticeable increase because it leaves that hole. So now I'm going to show you how to work a yarn over on the purl side rather than on the knit side. So in order to show you that I'm going to knit to the end here and get to my purl side. So let me speed up the video. I'm just going to knit across all stitches and I'll see you at the end of this row. Okay, we're coming up here on the end of the row. This is my knit row. And my next row is going to be a purl row. And we're going to put some yarn overs on the purl side. And I'm when I put these next yarn overs in, I'm not going to put them over top 
of these other yarn overs. I'm going to put them kind of in between so you can see the difference and you won't get confused with the other yarn overs we worked. So we're going to turn our work and we're going to purl back and we're going to put yarn overs in on the purl side. So this is how you work a yarn over when the next stitch after the yarn over is a purl stitch. So I'm going to purl three stitches in and then work a yarn over. So I'm just going to purl my regular way three stitches and now we're going to do a yarn over. Now to work a yarn over my yarn typically when you did the knit yarn over you brought your yarn to the front and then wrapped a normal knitting stitch. This time our yarn is already in front and we're going to purl the next stitch. So in order to do a yarn over I'm going to do a wrap. So my yarn is in front. I'm going to bring my yarn up and over, over top of the right hand needle and just wrap it. So now my yarn is back in front. So that's all I do. Let me do it again. My yarn is in front and I wrap the yarn around that right hand needle and bring it back to the front. And now that it's back in the front, I purl my next stitch. So I created an extra stitch by doing a wrap and then I continue to purl. So let me purl a couple more stitches past that other yarn over a couple of rows before. Let's do a couple more purls. Let's do now another purl yarn over. I'm on the purl side. My next stitch is going to be a purl stitch. So I'm going to just wrap my needle. And then I'm going to purl the next stitch. That's all you do to work a yarn over when purl when a purl is your next stitch. So if you're following along on a pattern and it calls for knitting and purling on the same row, you would work the yarn over depending on what your next stitch is. So it's not necessarily the fact that I'm on a purl side row that I'm doing this type of wrapping. It's because the next stitch in the series, the next stitch I make, is a purl stitch. So you can do both yarn overs on the same row, depending on if your next stitch is a knit or a purl. And the pattern will tell you what stitch comes after the yarn over. So I'm just purling now to the end of the row. And then as we knit back, you will be able to see the eyelets pop up from the yarn over we did. You can kind of see where they are. They're back here at the beginning of the row. There's one here. There's one here. There's one there. So I'm going to just knit back across all stitches and I'll show you what it looks like when we get to the knit to the yarn over. I'll stop and show you what that looks like and how to work that stitch. So let me just knit over to it. Up on where the yarn over is. It's coming up right here, so I've gotten one more stitch to knit, and then there's the yarn over, and again, it looks weird. It's just like the yarn is laying on top of the needle, and it's not really connected underneath. It's just laying on top of the needle, so in order to work the yarn over stitch, I just go into the front leg of it, 
and knit it like I normally would knit any other stitch and just keep knitting. So even when you come to that stitch, don't get nervous that something went wrong because that stitch looks different. It's going to look different. You just knit into the front leg of it. There's another weird one. That's the yarn over from the row below. Just knit into it and keep going. Get here to the end. Got one last yarn over right there to work. And then we'll take a look at what we've done so far. Okay, as I pull this down, you can now see the yarn overs we did on the purl side. There's one, there's one, and there's one. So you can see what kind of patterns and designs that this does in your knitting. So now I'm going to show you a little hack in case you're wondering what to do. In case you don't want that eyelet to appear, you can hack the yarn over so that the eyelet will close up on the next row. So let me, let me purl back all my stitches. I'm going to purl back to the beginning and then I'll show you how to kind of hack a yarn over so it closes up the hole. I'm coming up here on the end of my row. I'm on a purl side and I'm going to put a yarn over or two in these last few stitches so that on the next row I can show you the hack. So I'm going to put a yarn over right here. I'm on the purl side. My next stitch is a purl stitch. So my yarn is in front. I'm going to wrap it around the needle and then purl. So I just put in a yarn over. I'm going to purl a few more stitches and then I'm going to put another purl yarn over in and now I'm going to finish up the row. So on my next row, when I get to those yarn over stitches, I'll show you how to close up the hole. Sometimes you make a mistake and you put a yarn over where you didn't want a yarn over and you don't want to have to unknit it all the way back to the boo-boo. You can do this instead to close up the hole. And sometimes you just work a yarn over because it's an increase but you don't ever intend for there to be a hole there. So this is how you fix that. So I'm going to knit over to the yarn over stitch. Here it comes. There's the yarn over stitch is the next stitch. Now to work the hole, if we wanted the eyelet to appear, we would knit into this front leg of the stitch. But here's the hack. If you want to close the hole, knit into the back leg. It's a very short little leg back here. Knit into that. pick up that back leg. So instead of knitting into the front leg, I'm knitting into the back leg and I do a knit stitch there and that closes the hole. I'm going to keep knitting to the next yarn over and I'll show you. We'll stop and take a look where we did that. We get here to the next yarn over and instead of knitting into the front leg, I'm going to reach around behind and knit into the back leg. So it can be a little tricky to grab. 
can be a little tricky to get your needle in, in under there but sometimes I'll use my index finger and kind of help loosen that stitch up a little bit so that I can insert my needle underneath that back leg and then I knit that stitch and then keep going so let's take a look real quick let's take a look where we did the close the hole now it's very very subtle but there is a twisted stitch where we worked the yarn over let me try and point it out where we worked the yarn over there's one right here right here and there's one right here very very hard to see but there is a little bit of a twist not terrible but just a little bit of a twist in the stitch where we went through the back leg rather than the front leg so it's not noticeable and if you had a, a yarn over that you wanted to close the hole and just make it a regular increase without the extra eyelet that's how you do it so I hope this lesson has helped you understand what a yarn over is on the knit side and a yarn over is on the purl side if you have any comments or suggestions for other videos leave them in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you'll know when we put up extra videos and I will see you next time thanks for watching